We are. We are. We are cultivate. 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 We are cultivate. You are now listening to the Shots and Thoughts Podcast. Hosted by Chris, Ryan, and Sean. (laughs) It's weird to do that with people watching. It truly is. I was waiting for it. I was like, what's he going to do? Oh, man. That was strange. I looked at the both of your eyes and was like, this this could be a mistake. (laughs) Oh, dude. Awesome. <laughs> oh, good start, good start. I liked it. I've... I equated it to like vinegar strokes. Like we're just looking at each other at the same time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's up, shoddies? Okay. Uh, welcome <laughs> to the Internet's only educational improv comedy game show involving shots of liquors and D20. It's your boy, Sean. It's the kid, Chris. And with us today, our very first guest of season four. Very special. <sighs> Uh, the first guest since we've started the Cultivate, since we've joined Cultivate Network. So uh, with us today, we have Maddie and Linz from Ye Old Crime. <sighs> <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> All right, What's guys. Up, y'all? Before we jump into today's topic, which you guys chose, um, why don't you tell the shoddies uh, a little bit about Ye Old Crime and where they could find you and... All of that good stuff. Sure. Uh, so Yield Crime is a show that obviously Maddie and I do together mm-hmm. where we talk about true crimes and kind of obscure things that happened in history pre-1900. Whoa. So there's some we go way back. weird shit that happened back then. I tell you what. A I lot bet. of yep. weird shit. Yeah. One of my favorite yeah. episodes would... Which is a strange one, just because I think I, I, it was, I think maybe a month after you guys joined Cultivate, mm-hmm. I think y'all had the hairpin episode, and I was like, man, right? Something so small is so fucking badass. It's so right? cool. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yeah, if you're interested and confused about what I'm talking about, the episode is out there for you. I I forget what it's titled, but I'm sure hair hat pin is in there. Yeah. Hat pin or hair pin? No, I'm... Hat pin. Oh, hat pin. Hat pin. Yeah. To pin the hat to your head. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now I need to yeah, now I need to see it's this. It's going to bother me. <laughs> no, it was a really good listen. Also, the the Korean one was very sad. I was very sad about that. Oh, yeah. It was uh, Prince Otto. Otto. Prince yeah. Otto was so tragic. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously a piece of shit, but lots of, uh, <laughs> yeah. lots of things made him that way. Yeah. Yeah, wow. that was one of those ones where it was like, how could you not be a terrible rare... person with the environment he was forced to be And it's one in. of the rare instances where I actually felt bad for the killer. Yeah. yeah. Like, just because it wasn't really his fault. Um, yeah, that was a rough one. Yeah. Yeah. Shotties, you got to check that out. If you love history, if you love true crime. Uh, and if you just like the soothing voices of Maddie and Lens, that's a great <laughs> podcast every week, sometimes twice a week, every other week. I've been on, can you crack, can you crack the cramp word? I've been on there three times. Um, I think like oh for nine, I have not cracked a single <laughs> cramp, uh, but I will one day, maybe, hopefully. Yeah. Those, those are not easy. No. Definitely. no what are they not. like riddle, like word riddles or? No, it's old lingo. Oh, it's like really? It's Victorian slang terms. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So my first time, uh, I had only listened to uh, like two Can You Crack the Cramp Words prior to like doing one. And uh, you know me. I fucking, I thought everything was slang for perverted <laughs> bad stuff. Yep. So I was way off on all. And some of them sound very perverted. Yeah, they sound like super perverted. And it's yeah. like. A cabinet. And you're like, what? Yes. Really? Your writing yeah. hand. I'm like, yeah. what? Why? Just say writing hand. Why need a slang <laughs> yeah. for that? Yep. 
Yeah. So like, here's an example of one that was referenced in one of our recent episodes with my sister-in-law. Okay. Fusty lugs. That Fusty lugs. has to be dirty. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> my guess would be shoes. Fusty. Okay. Oh, pretty good. Do uh-huh. you have a guess, Maddie? Uh, old suitcases. Okay. Mm. Uh, again, I was gonna be an idiot. I was the first <laughs> thing that popped in my head was like fuzzy handcuffs. Okay, and I know they didn't have that in the Victorian era, so I know that's incorrect. Uh, so I will just go regular handcuffs. There you go. Okay. Fusty lugs is a beastly, sluttish woman. Oh wow! So, <laughs> so did, I could have new word refers unlocked. to aggressive titties is essentially aggressive titties, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Whoa! And if you have been to a red fest, they are quite aggressive. They around are. That area. There's lots of. They can be lots of fussy, fusty lugs there. Yeah, many a fusty lug. Many a lug mm-hmm. of the fusty variety. All of them fusty. <laughs> yes. the Every single. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into the topic of the day. And uh, Linz suggested this Mm -hmm. to me. I opened it up. I said, is there anything you want to learn about? And she said, I want to learn about the golden age of piracy. So now that we know the topic, it's time to take our first sip. We're not doing shots. We're doing little sippies. Okay. Uh, Maddie, Mm -hmm. Linz, what are you guys drinking? I made a slushie. From home. Ooh, it's a blue raspberry sorbet with vodka and red wine. Wow. That sounds awesome. That is fire sounding. It's you don't really want to know awesome. a funny a funny story about blue raspberry. Up until the <laughs> age of thirteen, I was convinced that was my favorite fruit. Uh Chris actually nice. is the person that told me uh I think quote dumbass that's not a fruit. It they're they're <laughs> actually say it's blue raspberry. <laughs> Wait, what? There is a blue raspberry that that oh is grown naturally. <laughs> it's like in one really random pocket of the world. Oh my god! It's like a wild raspberry right now. Yeah, it's over for you, Chris. Oh so, yeah, that's a shot and not, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I gotta find it because they manufactured right. it. That's like a, it's actually like a blackberry flavor instead. But there's like some weird hill somewhere that actually has, they're technically like purplish, but they're blue raspberries. Wow. Yeah, While you search you know. that, this is Linz, <laughs> what are you drinking? I am drinking a watermelon cucumber margarita style truly. Oh, wow. Margarita truly? That sounds yeah. way cooler than what yeah. we're drinking. <laughs> wow, our sex. We're just, Chris, what are we? We're both drinking we're the same drinking thing. drinking a truly strawberry lemonades. Nice. Those are like, good. I've like, had those before. But it's lackluster compared to a blue raspberry sorbet with wine and vodka. <laughs> and then yeah. Yeah. a water. When I drink, I make it And then cow. a margarita. Margarita. That's true. That You got to make it worth. You got to make it worth. That's awesome. Cheers, y'all. All right. First sip of the night. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Oh, still a refreshing more. drink, though. Still refreshing. Oh, Yeah. The blueberry, blueberry, ra- blue raspberry is similar to the white bark raspberry in western parts of North America. It's a in America. It's a shrub. There you go, Sean. <laughs> wow. It it's would a be. white bark raspberry <laughs> that tastes exactly like a blue raspberry. Decades later. Decades you're, later, you're you know, redeemed, yeah. proven right. I found that out because I, I was forsaken. like, "That's not a real thing, idiot!" And then they got really up- mad at me, and they found out. They found it. They're like, actually, you're the dummy. And I was like, oh. wait, who did? Uh, coworker. I left oh. that job, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounded toxic anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah. I kind of left that job because of that. Uh, yeah, like, who's, who that wants incident? to fight me about a blue raspberry? Like, <laughs> damn. Just. Well, I think, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know what happened. We lost Chris. But oh, we, no. But we can still hear Chris. Yeah. All righty. So now that we know the topic, do we have any hypothesis on what is slash really when was the golden age of piracy? I'm going to say the depression. The depression? Because you didn't have any money, so you just stole shit. 
Because you needed it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. My guess is... I'm going to say 1690 to 1700. Just 10 years of solid piracy, and then they stop. <laughs> I think this is bad, guys. We should probably... <laughs> Can, can can you guys just stop? <laughs> I don't have anything left. Stealing is bad. I'm hard to get a die like 20 years sooner than later because of a plague. Can I just please keep my bread? Damn. I will say before we recorded uh, and before our producer Craig sent us, uh, we forgot to coordinate with Craig this week, so they kind of just sent us one link. But uh, whenever we opened the link, it was pirates like pirate pirates so then chris and i were like oh our original hypothesis was like lime wire or that was <laughs> mine napster yeah i was yeah yeah i was like yeah i remember when napster was a thing yeah napster mm-hmm. <laughs> so i was thinking oh maybe it's napster. digital but uh we yeah. were as soon as we opened the link we were like oh, okay no we're wrong <laughs> original no, pirates just... still very cool <laughs> right. Unless they just put a picture of Blackbeard for fun, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that was actually the original Napster logo. Was Blackbeard? <laughs> oh. You know, Pirate Bay. Yeah. Hey, oh, Pirate there you go. Bay. There you go. Man, I was all about the torrent. Can you we could say that legally now? That's fine. Uh, allegedly. We were alleged. I was allegedly we were allegedly the all about the torrents. <laughs> I may or may not have been really into torrents. Yeah. There was a period of Will time that where... confirm or deny? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can neither confirm nor deny. But I was like... I felt at, at a certain point, I was like, man, I've seen like all the movies, mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> I've seen all, <laughs> the, <laughs> all of them. That's, all of them that have been made. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there was... I never got to the point of torrenting, though, like whenever I would be like a cedar. Uh, I don't I don't know if I was ever like... Because I think that's when you knew you were in the shit. What, what's a... What, that's when you would. A cedar up, was somebody when you shared the files. Yeah, right? that's when oh, you were sharing. It. Yeah, I've never shared. Is it I just like take. a yeah. like a seed or a leech or something? Oh yeah, I yeah. Don't know. Definitely leech. I was just a taker. Yeah, I was just yeah. a taker. Story of my allegedly. life. Allegedly, I only <laughs> I allegedly we took. <laughs> allegedly, I would only allegedly grab, um, <laughs> phone ringtones from LimeWire. Oh, yeah, oh. there you go. And I thought I was so cool. I was like, yeah, uh, here's this. You know, Lincoln Park ringtone yeah. that's like really poorly done and like scratchy <laughs> and just a nuisance. It's just a MIDI it's just file. nuisance to everyone but me. And I'm like, I have to take this call. It's like, I actually can't talk because it's too expensive. Bye. <laughs> I remember, call me after seven o'clock. At, yeah, hit me up after nine. <laughs> I remember uh, when I got my first cell phone to do like make my own ringtone mm-hmm. i would record with yes. the phone next to the that speaker yep. and then put my my shirt over the speaker and phone uh, to try and muffle it as best as i could yep never good oh my god i remember getting chewed out for playing the snake oh man oh. snake i think the first phone i had was like a sony ericsson and like uh the only game on there was like some ad- like side scroller adventure game we have to like jump over yep. lava and stuff yeah <laughs> Fucking Zoomers listening to this. Yeah, like, <laughs> what the, f- the completely like Gen Z? What <laughs> the fuck is a Sony Ericsson? <laughs> ringtones? <laughs> What's a ringtone? Uh, you would make songs? You had to record them yeah. yourself? Yeah. And you couldn't just download them? Oh, oh, God. How old are you? How did you make TikToks? <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing called Vine? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even that long ago. I promise. I know. <laughs> R.I.P. Vine. R.I.P. R.I.P. Oh, Gone too soon for sure. Absolutely. For sure. All right. There were well, so many good ones. We have our hypothesis in. Wait, okay. did we give ours? Oh, Are we giving one? I kind of gave a, yeah. Give your own. Oh. You're your own person. What's the question? What? <laughs> <laughs> when, what and when was the golden age of piracy? Oh, what and when? Uh, I'm going to go with 17th to 18th century. Mm. I feel All like right. that. Uh, that was when, when all the, the wars, the, the independent wars were happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to steal this what, whole what country from dis- you. Yeah. <laughs> while they're distracted. That's the piracy. Yeah. While they're distracted, we're going to go a 
And then people true. are like, guys, true. we already live here. And they're like, we don't care. Burn it to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine they, how crazy yeah. that is. Is Columbus America. technically a yeah. pirate? <laughs> Huh? Is Columbus technically is a pirate? Columbus technically a pirate. That's a good he question. He absolutely is a pirate. Well, no, he's yeah. no, he's a what was it called? A he's seed, a dumbass. He's a cedar. Jesus, <laughs> he's a cedar. He's a cedar. He told yeah. everyone, and they just came with their pox blankets and uh, nasty oh yeah. and nasty gruel and plague. And Everybody can you believe we have a holiday for this man? Go America! <laughs> I know. Go America! <laughs> you know. You know, he was a tyrant, but he was a good man. You know, freedom. <laughs> it's odd hearing both of those words in the same sentence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. America. American history is so sad. It's so messed up. It's, it's so, so messed up, man. So messed up. And like the and history. taught incorrectly in The school. history I learned versus what actually happened is so different. Like I just remember they're like day. they're like write a poem about George Washington. <laughs> and then you actually heard what happened to, like during the Civil War and you're like, damn. Oh yeah. my God. Like Or like, oh, like, crazy George, he had his wooden teeth. Actually, there were slaves' teeth. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. We fucking he's on our uh, money. We celebrate this right? man. And they're like, uh, <laughs> cherry trees. It's like can't think about this. Why? Yeah. Mad about it. <laughs> Our history is evil. It's oh. all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. Oh, but now officially. Yeah, okay, let's drink. Second sip of the night. All right, there you go. Oh. oh. All right, let's get into it. Mm-hmm. As always, we got to shout out our producer slash researcher, Craig. They did, uh, I mean... They forgot. We also forgot to remind them. So Craig did not uh, <laughs> do their usual quality of research because that's on me. That's my bad. I but, bet it's uh, still they sent us. It's still incredible, Craig. Good job. Yeah, Craig. absolutely. Whatever it is, They'll it let... could be two sentences. Fantastic. Excellent work. <laughs> ten out of ten. Love the positivity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, we were looking for the golden age of piracy, and we got a page headline. Golden Age of Piracy. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Yeah, yep. truly. <laughs> um, so this is from rmg.co.uk, uh, the Royal Museum's Greenwich. Greenwich? Greenwich. 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 All right, so this is their article about the Golden Age of Piracy. Though pirates have existed since ancient times, the Golden Age of Piracy was in the 17th and early 18th centuries. Wow, Chris. Chris won. Damn, Chris. He won. Yes. <laughs> During this time, more than 5,000 par- pirates were said to be at sea. Throughout history. We don't know all their names because they weren't all that great. No. Oh, yeah. I, I truly only know <laughs> Blackbeard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about the badass the female pirate? Gang? Was she during this time? <laughs> Yep, Shang Chi. Shang Chi yep. was during this time. Whoa, what a Marvel! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> no, you need it. We did an episode on her. She's badass. Episode nine. That sounds episode fucking cool. Nine, shit. Oh, I need to do yeah. the backlogs. I've just been listening weekly. I need to go back. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, she is was the, like, the name spelled the same, or is it S H I? It's C H I N G, and then S H I H. Ah. So yeah, was, was she around the same time? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Very cool. She was, actually, if you watch, uh, trying to think what number of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies it was, uh, the third or fourth one when they went to the council thing. Yeah, when they went to the council, the woman. Oh, that's okay. Shang-Chi. Oh, sis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I rewatch those. I'm, I think that's three. I think you're right. Yeah, because we've been watching them over again. So, yeah, that's her. How many of those did they make? Just three Twelve. or four? Uh, <laughs> Twelve. Five. So they made five. Made five and that's... then Johnny Depp got fired from the sixth one. Yeah. So they haven't made the sixth one. Was that for the Amber Heard stuff? Yeah. Yep. So, Wait, yeah. so they had, so five came out sort of recently? I think, yeah, I think they had, I can't remember when the fifth one that's came the one out. With, yeah, uh, they've uh, had five Javier of them. Javier Bardem. Oh, Javier Bardem. Yeah, that's right. It's a good-looking man. I need to watch that. 
Yeah, they should just have uh, the Fast and the Furious. What's his name? Vin Diesel. Vin Ch- Diesel? Vin Diesel. <laughs> Johnny Depp should just pull a Vin Diesel and just be like, no, there's no Pirates of the Caribbean without me. Family. 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 <laughs> I mean, true. Like, he makes those <laughs> movies for sure. Off topic, but I don't know if it's frowned upon to talk about. But do you remember when Orlando Bloom had there was those pictures of him uh, paddleboarding completely yeah. naked? <laughs> no, and that he was dude, just completely embarrassing Katy Perry too. Like she was on the paddleboard he, at one oh. point too, and he was like, <laughs> "Oh, paddleboarding! Yeah, You're paddleboarding. standing up." <laughs> Standing up, standing up in the nude, just, yep. and he truly jealous of what that man has. <laughs> <laughs> Lego less than his third leg. I know. <laughs> third Elves le- are fucking third packing. Lego loss. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Where were we? <laughs> All right. He's just like, and my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that movie today. <laughs> Legolas, why is why is your sword so fleshy? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, throughout history, there have been people willing to rob others, transporting goods on the water. These people, known as pirates, mainly targeted ships, though some also launched attacks on coastal towns. Many of the most famous pirates had a terrifying reputation, and they advertised this by flying gruesome flags, including the Jolly Roger, with its picture of a skull and crossbones. Wow. Still relevant today. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. Captives were famously made to walk the plank, though this doesn't appear to have been as common in reality as in fiction. In fact, it's likely that most victims of piracy were just thrown overboard. Nice. Yeah, less pomp and circumstance, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Like, they don't want them to draw it out. They're like, just get off the ship. Yeah, just get off the ship. We got yeah. what we need. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Essentially pickle yourself just, with the amount of salt in that water. <laughs> yeah. They just like yeeted them over the side. Yeah. And bye. Pirates have existed since ancient times. They threatened the trading routes of ancient Greece and seized cargoes of grain and olive oil from Roman ships. The most far reaching pirates in early medieval Europe were the Vikings. Thousands of pirates were active between 1650 and 1720, and these years are sometimes known as the Golden Age of Piracy. Famous pirates include Henry Morgan, Captain Morgan. How'd I forget? Yep. Uh, Captain Morgan, he was a real dude. A real guy, and we just celebrate him like he didn't murder countless people. (laughs) And they're like, your room's great. Good job. (laughs) Put your leg up. It's friendly. It's fun. (laughs) Uh, other famous pirates include William Captain Kidd, Calico Jack Rackham, Bartholomew Roberts, and the fearsome Blackbeard. Uh, though this golden age came to an end in the 18th century, piracy still exists today in some parts of the world, especially the South China Seas. Uh, this part of the article is titled Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. Wow. The explorer Christopher Columbus established Boo. contact between <laughs> Europe and the lands that were later named America at the end of the 15th century. As he was working for the Spanish monarchy, these new lands were claimed by the Spanish, who soon discovered them to be a rich source of silver, gold, and gems. For the 16th century, large Spanish ships called galleons began to sail back to Europe loaded with precious cargoes that pirates found impossible to resist. So many pirate attacks were made that galleons were forced to sail together in fleets with armed vessels for protection. As Spanish settlers set up new towns on the Caribbean islands and the American mainland, these too came under pirate attack. Nice. Loki, though, are, are we on the pirate side if they're like, attacking all these colonizers? Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, as I'm reading this, I'm like, like wait a second. Total trash. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I'm Is all there... for making these established kingdoms and empires, like, and sweat <laughs> hard. Like, we got to send multiple ships. We got to, they got to have bodyguards on each ship. 
Like, oh man, Down with that's the monarchy. Kind of well, they had that <laughs> sweet. They had that taste of chocolate, and they were like, "We need more. Yeah, <laughs> need more chocolate. Need we gotta more. go back. We gotta go back. <laughs> Get my fix. <laughs> Yield Next. diabetes." Ye old diabetes. I can That's our new it. podcast where I host it. <laughs> I can say that because I'm a type one diabetic. <laughs> oh, we're we're Filipinos, so it's only a matter of time yeah. for us. We're the cl- cholesterol yep. gang over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, my LDLs are insane. <laughs> All right, the next section is called Corsairs, Buccaneers, and Privateers. Corsairs were pirates who operated in the Mediterranean Sea between the 15th and 18th centuries. Muslim corsairs, such as the Barbosa Redbeard brothers, had bases along North Africa's Barbary coast, nice. while Christian corsairs oh. were based on the <laughs> island of Malta. <laughs> Both used to swoop down on their targets in ore-powered boats called galleys to carry off sailors and passengers. Unless these unfortunates were rich enough to pay a ransom, they were sold as slaves. Damn. Yay! Imagine uh, being a colonizer and then one day, boom, into slavery. Yeah. Like, whoa, you, you just how wait, quickly. You wake up chained to the bottom of a ship and you're like, ah, not this again. Oh, man. Let me how quickly the tables have turned. How the turntables have tables. Table turns. <laughs> uh, buccaneers lived on the Caribbean island of Hispaniola and its tiny turtle shaped neighbor, Tortuga. Cute. They're all real ass places. <laughs> oh, Tortuga. In the 17th century. At first, they lived as hunters, but later, the governors of, Caribbean isla- of the Caribbean islands paid the buccaneers to attack Spanish treasure ships. Love yeah. to see. Yeah. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. Although the raids began in this way with official backing, the buccaneers gradually became out of control, (laughs) attacking. (laughs) How did this go wrong? This is like the birth of Australia. (laughs) The outback. All right. Attacking any ship that they thought carried valuable cargo, whether it belonged to an enemy country or not, the buccaneers had become true pirates. Private- <laughs> Privateers, meanwhile, were privately owned rather than the Navy ships armed with guns operating in times of war. Mm. The Admiralty issued them with letters of mark that allowed them to capture merchant vessels without being charged with piracy. Oh, kind of like hey, a mercenary hall pass. Pirate. Yeah, my mom says I can kick your ass <laughs> and take your things. <laughs> Dog, the my privateer. Mom, my mom is the queen. <laughs> Got him. Here's here's my mark. <laughs> All right. So this next, and I think last, yeah, the last section. Why did pirates become pirates? I mean, I can only imagine. Uh, it sounds I mean, fun. Money. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> money. Uh, ships, hanging out with the bros, lots of bro right? time. I'm just gonna be a pirate now. <laughs> yeah. hanging out with so the turtles fun. in Tortuga. <laughs> Yeah, Yeah. chilling at Tortuga, of course. All right, so in England, there was social disruption. Small farmers were forced off the land by ruthless landowners, and small tradesmen were challenged by larger business. These displaced people flocked to urban areas looking for work or poor relief. In London, I'm just so used to there being like one more person. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually Ryan reads in between. Chris and I. Yeah. Oh, read, yeah. So whenever I finish reading, Chris is like a small pause, like, like oh, yeah, my, my turn, my turn. We miss you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> In London, especially, there was overcrowding and unemployment, and funds for the poor could not meet the need. People had to shift for themselves. Distressed people weren't simply worse off, they had no hope of making a better life. Piracy tempted poor seamen. Because it offered Shut them. <laughs> Shut it was your, right there. Shut the fruit mouth. was hanging too low. Uh, because it offered them the chance to take more control of their lives. Oh, right, right, right. History In definitely age, doesn't repeat itself, though. I see, yeah, I yeah. see no parallels today. No. Yeah, why, yeah, why is that? 
I don't know. We just, Our systems is, are flawed. This just means we have to go to Tortuga, guys. We got to become uh, pirates. That's what I'm hearing. I'm all about it, actually. Sounds pretty. They took our pirate base, so now we have to do it in real life. <laughs> yep. That steal, doesn't exist anymore. Go steal pirate some Bay boats is like, from no, it, it's REI. A, Find ooh, a place. REI. Yeah. Get some, get some power waffles, whatever yeah. they have. <laughs> Kodiak we're, ta- we're taking these two. <laughs> we're taking these. Yeah. In the name of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom said I could. See? Yeah. Here's my mark. <laughs> the mark. Don't you see the mark? <laughs> In an age when few people traveled and young men might have to work seven year apprenticeships before they could make an independent living, Sounds many like were college. tempted. <laughs> yeah, yeah literally. I was about I, to say. Yeah. <laughs> College and shitty internships. Wow, yep. it's the same. Uh, many were tempted to go to sea anyway, though the life was a tough one. Adolescents who longed to escape could get a job on a sailing ship before they were fully grown. Agility was needed as much as brute strength. Yet, ordinary seamen. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> toiled like for modest wages and were subject to strict discipline. In contrast, piracy not only offered them a chance to get rich quick, but also a rare opportunity to exert a degree of power over others. Wow. All right. And that is what is and when was the golden age of piracy. Again, shout outs to Royal Museums Greenwich. Yes. That is rmg.co.uk slash stories slash topics slash golden age of piracy. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure they get all the credits because we read that all from that was <laughs> verbatim. We did not come up with any of that ourselves. <laughs> and it was great. Didn't even I, do I that. Say, uh, it answered the question. Yeah. It did. Yeah, exactly. Oh. We didn't even Very do that. You know, change it a little bit so you're not objectively stealing. But uh, <laughs> we're doing a piracy episode while we pirate this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we Yo, blatantly that was pirated what, it. You do what you oh, need to man. do. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. That was amazing. That's, that's no treasure. That's probably Just, what Craig thought all along. Wow. Craig. On top of it. The treasure is knowledge. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's all within. Yeah. All right. With that being said, shot number three, shot to knowledge. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers to knowledge. Cheers. <laughs> you love knowledge. Mm-hmm. The more you know. Oh, this right. is such a good slushy. I'm jealous. <laughs> jealous, actually. You need to go over there. You guys are in Minnesota, right? Yeah. Yep. Is that public knowledge? Should I edit that out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's public knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we okay. said it. Right People yeah. know our John PO always box. mentions going there to get a Juicy Lucy's, and I also want to join him on the trip. Yeah. To partake. Come up anytime. We'll take you to the the place of the original Juicy Lucy. What do you think is the the original place? I don't know. It's somewhere in St. Paul. I think. Yeah, and they're like two places that fight it's over the two places. Original. There's like two there's like two places. We could go to both. I'm on there you go. I, there you go. Talk I'm about pretty it. sure I'm team Mets Bar. Ooh. Pretty sure. Mets Bar. I don't I've never been to either. I think so the Is it Blue Door that does the other one? Or blue something. Bougie door. Bougie door. I don't Blame. know. And likewise, if you guys ever come to Texas, if y'all ever come to Houston, we got you. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. What's our signature? We got a fuzzies up Houston. here, and it was like oh, fuzzy tacos, an oasis. I know it's not the best one, the best fast food taco place, but like way better than the fast food tacos here. So as soon as we saw fuzzies, yep. we were like, oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> we could take you to so many like yeah, we got amazing food taco over trucks here. <laughs> for sure. And then if y'all want fast food tacos, I don't know if it's fast food because. Notoriously on this podcast, we say it's not fast food unless there's a drive through. Yeah. Okay. But Torchies is like a fast casual. We went to Torchies. Oh. oh, you guys oh. have been. Nice. Uh, nice. I so went. Good. I went with my with my partner. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, it was cool. the last thing we ate in Texas, and I was so thankful. Oh, nice. I was like, <laughs> I was like, do we have to go? <laughs> so good. Whenever that first opened up in Houston, because I think it's from Austin, right? It was just a food truck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was the tiniest parking lot, like 10 spaces, Still impossible is. to get in and packed yep. Yep. all the time. Now there's yep. like 11 of them over Houston. Yeah. A span of like three miles. 
Yeah. It's almost a Starbucks. It's, yeah, it's like a Starbucks yeah. in Houston almost. It's crazy. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yeah, it was hard to yeah. find parking, but we got there and and I was like, I'm getting breakfast tacos. Like, I'm go. getting breakfast oh, yeah. tacos. Because it was like late at night. They were almost closed. My partner's like, they're not going to have still breakfast. And I was like, shut up. It's Torchies. They're going to have breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and I was allowed to get them. The, oh, the yeah. counter girl totally judged me. But I was like, no. Like, this is my one chance to get a decent breakfast Were you in Houston? Taco. I, yeah. When we, we stopped in Houston, we went to um, where his son lives. So we uh. went to to have a week with him hang out and then Usually i experienced the southern Bucky's. hospitality oh bucky's yeah oh yeah i experienced Solid. bucky's that's where i got this giant cup oh texas size <laughs> for sure yes. texas size for yeah. sure <laughs> bucky's has been a tourist spot but also like locals because it yeah. is legit the cleanest bathrooms it's insane yeah it makes no sense so fun i love the like ridiculous mascot and like all the stuff that's plastered <laughs> on it while oh, also yeah. simultaneously having like a hobby lobby style <laughs> this, this home has heart and craft of like oh <laughs> my goodness the power great, of christ is the secret in my butter recipe oh like, yeah it's definitely live laugh just, love over there big chuggy vibes at bucky's but we yes. love it regardless yes oh my god the biggest chuggy vibes <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Live, laugh, right. love, and Lord. And Lord. <laughs> and Jesus. And Jesus. All right. <laughs> With that being said, I think it's time for a break, and then we'll get to rolling some dice. Nice. Woo! Later. Yay! Bye-bye. Our next partner has a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 because I've often struggled with gut health and proper nutrition, which made me wonder what sort of vitamins and minerals I may be missing that my body really needs. With one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focused, and aging. All the things. I drink my AG1 right away in the morning as a great way to get my day started. As someone who suffers from food allergies, I appreciate the fact that it's so lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, the vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free. Not only that, but the subscription comes with a year's supply of vitamin D, which is so important, especially in Minnesota where I'm from, where we don't get as much sunlight. For less than $3 a day, you can invest in your health, that's cheaper than a daily coffee habit. If you don't want to take my word for it, check out the over 7,000 five-star reviews that Athletic Greens has received. It's not just about the fact that I'm taking better care of my body. Athletic Greens is a climate-neutral certified company that gives back as well. For every purchase they receive, they donate to organizations that help supply nutritious foods to children in need, including No Kid Hungry. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com emerging. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash E-M-E-R-G-I-N-G to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. And uh, we're back. Hi. Uh, <laughs> it is so strange doing this in front of people. <laughs> Doesn't get any weirder. Uh, or... Yeah, so before we get into the games and what the games are, um, we have to drink for some games that happened last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. So la two weeks ago on our normal game episode, we did a Fast Thoughts where uh, we had to name five things very fast, and the shoddies voted on it, and I have the results. Nice. Coming in, so our Five questions were a wrestler from the 90s, something you find in your fridge, what a cat does, 
a Texas university, and a Netflix original show. So, if we ha- if you guys have to play that right now, who would your '90s wrestler go? The Rock, Randy Man. Randy Man. Oh, Macho Man. Macho what? Man. Randy Sapp. Okay, and then uh, something you find in your fridge. Slim Jim. Yeah. <laughs> bone saw from <laughs> oh, Spider Man. Bone saw is ready. The bone saw. <laughs> milk. I was milk. gonna say milk. God, we're white as hell. <laughs> Milk, butter. I also put milk. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Why? <laughs> Welcome to the club. Wow. Uh, something a cat does. Vomit. Shit in your shoe. <laughs> Shit, in, Shit your shoe. in your shoe. Holy moly! <laughs> I would be livid if my cat ever. <laughs> oh. Vomit. That's a good one. Vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Vomit is accurate. Yeah. We we mm-hmm. got my cat a feeder thing. It looks like a like a like a trompo, like a El Pastor. Yeah. Like a spitting rotisserie thing of meat. <laughs> mm-hmm. And like she just like uh there there's like holes for her to like push her food to like the middle yeah. hole in order for the food to drop all the way to the bottom. Cause she was like vomiting all the time because she would just mm-hmm. fucking eat like a mad woman yeah. and oh, just really? fucking yeah she, we'd put like just a just little bit of food yourself. and then just one swoop just yep. so then we got her the that thing and then that stopped her throw ups but oh, she's go. mastered it cats are smart i guess that's are very smart my and parents she fucking, my parents have a cat who's like like violently allergic to dairy and oh, no. it, <laughs> christmas last year <laughs> she decided to lick the entire top foil of a sour cream (laughs) and this was right before we were to serve lunch she threw up on all the counters she threw up on she threw up on the christmas like like nice table set that my mom had she threw she threw up right next to the bread rolls and she threw up on the the chair of the of her husband who's allergic to cat Oh, no. oh god! Just like violently, just like scenario. violently kept vomiting, and she kept going where she shouldn't go. And my mom was like, "Macy, no!" <laughs> <laughs> like an SNL skit. Yeah, honestly, it sounds like a movie scene. It was so bad. Oh, it was man. so bad. Macy's so now, like, I think it's over. I think it's done. Yeah, she's oh, like, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> the, family, the family guy episode where they all take like the epic hack or whatever oh yeah <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> hold my hair back hold my hair back oh man it was so bad and my mom was so mortified she was like it's right next to the food yeah, it sounds traumatized <laughs> not on the holiday <laughs> oh man okay all right so we had the shoddies vote uh we won't get into all of the what we said for our our teams, and you can listen back, shoddies. But they voted, and coming in first place, uh, it's your boy, yeah. Sean. Yeah. Nice. Well played. Second place between Chris and Ryan by three votes. <laughs> 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 it's the umami poppy Ryan, meaning Chris uh, takes the uh, shot. Damn, the damn last blank got me. Definitely not the TVAMU. Yeah. <laughs> We we had to guess Texas universities, and then Chris picked the most obscure Texas university. <laughs> uh, you think Perry View Agri? What is it? A and M. I don't. Even I don't know, know what A and M even stands for. I don't even fucking remember. But like a subsection, he could have said A and M. I could have said A and M. The fucking the I big said one. Fucking UNT. I could have said so many other things. So many Baylor, the, the, Texas Tech. Yeah, Baylor. So many opportunities. Rice is right fucking Rice. There. Oh. Dude, the seat, the seat gets hot, man. Hate to see the it. hot seat gets hot, baby. The hot seat does get hot. That's all it is. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, so, now that we have that out of the way, Chris, would you like to explain to the shoddies and to the old crimers what, uh, how the dice roll works? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, uh, Off the top of your head, you know it because you made head, it, right, you buddy? Know. You got it. Yeah. We've hosted this show for... Three years? You got it. But it's <laughs> nice. Who needs? Nice. Who needs? Uh, so yeah, so you basically get a d20, right? And then uh, you roll it. And then if you uh, roll a one, you get you have to waterfall, uh, which basically means you 
roll. We roll a D4, which will equal how many seconds you do a waterfall for. So it's either between one to four seconds because you don't want me to die. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, You'd have to explain the games. Just r- shoot through them, and then when, if we roll it, then we'll explain it. I'm so sorry. It is not on mine. I definitely meant to post that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been yeah, a crazy... We'll peek behind the screen. Um, Ryan and I usually just pull up the Instagram post. Yeah, peek behind the screen. Uh, every season, because we change the games a little bit, Chris will make a graphic, and then him and Ryan will use that whenever it's their turn to name the games. Nice. But I... We are, I think this is episode 11 of the season, and I'm yet to post it. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> truly. Uh, 2022. Classic Sean. 2022 is your Classic year. Classic Sean. It's your year. Social media is hard, guys. It's hard. <laughs> it is. Chris also sends really hard. Like, he could not search for dice roll game in his title emails because. None of them are what he sends. He'll send uh, he'll send the graphics that I need to post on Instagram, but then it'll be titled "Hot Nudes" or something like that. So there's no Perfect. way he could search Perfect. through. I found it. that method is foolproof. Yeah, yeah truly. I didn't even think of that. I'm yeah, so, I'm so sorry for it's so hard to find it. anything. Uh, uh, so I found the email. We're professional podcasters, guys. Hey. We're, good. <laughs> We're good at this. You know what? It's cool. I was recording with somebody in England last weekend oh, and man. realized I didn't write up something that I was going to interview him with. So <laughs> oh, no. got to do that while he was just sitting there talking to me as I'm like, do, 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 do. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> Podcasting is hard. It is. A lot of fun, but yeah. hard. Yeah. It's not as sexy as some people make it out to be because they have a million and one people helping them make it. Right. Yeah. Celebs are always just like, man, this is so easy. Why haven't we been doing this? And I'm, yeah. <laughs> Get rid of all your assistants and see what happens. On my person? Uh, Actually, I might. I could just... Send you the face. I can actually just. I'm fucking making you do this. I have it in front of me. I'm so sorry. I'll just read it. I'll just read it. That would be great. Oh my god, I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. I really wanted to read it because I I had it, but like the the images is not is not loading. Yeah, that's. I'm like it's right in front of my Google sheet. Like I have it. I'm an idiot. Drop my drink all over my desk. Oh, no. oh, I'm glad you didn't. I got really excited. <laughs> Just shifted too far to the left, or too, too fast. All right, I have the rules here because I have failed Chris by not posting that to Instagram <laughs> shotties. But here we go. If you roll a one, that's a waterfall. If you roll a two through a four, that's mates plus everybody drinks. Uh, if you roll a five through a seven, you get a fantasy draft. An 8 through a 10, freestyle. 11 through 13, fast thoughts. 14 through 16, death saves. And 17 through 19, word tennis. And then if you roll the highest number, a 20, you make everybody else drink. Plus, you get to choose whatever game you want. So. Okay. Excellent. Uh, ladies, With the way. great power comes great responsibility. I know. That's how it is. <laughs> The the way uh, we do this when we have a uh, host or a guest, I keep saying host, I guess co-host, you guys are technically yeah, co-hosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whenever we have guests or co-hosts on, um, we want to make sure you two roll and then only one of oh, us yeah. will roll. Yep. So Chris and I okay. will do a roll off right now. Highest number gets to roll a game with you guys. The okay. lower number gets to play, but not choose a game. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. No, here we go. Ready, Sean. I rolled... That is a 19. Wow. Dang. Pretty yep. good. I got a 14. Love to see that for me. Great roll. Great roll. All right. <laughs> and then Maddie and Linz, the three of us will roll. And then whoever has the highest will roll for the first, will roll again for the first game. Okay. So I've rolled. That's a 12 for your boy. 
I rolled an 11. 14. 14, wow. Woo. So Maddie with the first game of the night. I think the order. First guest, first game. Wow, first guest, first game. Mm-mm. So the order, since all a lot of these games have to go in uh, in order, we'll do Maddie since you're starting. Okay. And then Linz, and then Chris, and then I'll end it. So if we're ever okay. doing a game where we need to rotate, that's the order we're going to go in. Okay. Okay. All right. Maddie, so now go ahead. I roll again. Yes. yes. Okay. 20. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> this is huge. That's insane. Wow. First guess, first roll, and a nat 20. Jeez, you couldn't ask for a better intro. Wow. All right, so. And you gangster. have the best drink of all of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 2022 we all have to drink my... our shitty drinks. 2022 Cheers. is my year, man. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I can't be here. My camera is me. Ryan is our, uh, our, usually our shot tally counter. Yep. And he's not here. Nope. So, so far, we're all equal. I have plus one. Okay. Because of my uh not my loss. So <laughs> Maddie's at three, Lindsay and I are at four, you're at five. Yep. All right. There we go. Ooh. The I ASMR. Had to open up the can. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. All right, Maddie, what game of these sounds enticing? Oh man. I like the fast fa- the the fast five. Fast five. The family feud one? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Where's that sound? Oh my god. Fast thoughts. Hey! Wow. Nice. All right, so. Wow. Shotties, the way this works is uh, Chris, Ryan, and I, and Craig have made um, five, or we made a bunch of prompts. And uh, really? we have a randomizer in Excel, it'll randomly choose five prompts from the list and then maddie will have 25 seconds 30 i always forget i want to say 25 yeah maddie will have 25 (laughs) seconds to answer these five prompts as fast as she can and then the rest of us will have 20 seconds to name or to answer the prompts but we can't use anything said by anybody else previously oh dang So, like, if we had earlier, like, when we did the fridge thing, if you, if Maddie had said milk, then Linz can't say milk. All right. So, Maddie, you go first. You have okay. the golden opportunity. Nobody can take anything from you. Yes. All right. Chris, do you have the time? I can do that. Okay. 25 seconds. Yeah. All right. Uh, the timer starts as soon as Sean finishes. First question. Okay. All right. 25 seconds on the clock. You got this, Maddie. All right. All right. Time will start as soon as I finish my first prompt. Okay. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Name your favorite cheat meal. Uh, sandwiches. <laughs> what would you eat if stuck on an island? Um, fruits. Name a famous character that uses a sword. Ten seconds. Ten seconds left. Um, He Man. A a place to use a quiet voice. Church. A character from Harry Potter. Uh, Fred. 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 Right on (laughs) time. Weasley. Nice. (laughs) Right right at the finish line. (laughs) Fred. I should have. I should have said tacos, and I'm so upset. (laughs) Sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches. Sandwiches. Who says sandwiches? Okay, I'm sorry. What's it's carb heavy? Was it I cheat mean, or cheat meal? Oh, cheat meal. Cheat meal. Okay. Cheat with a okay. T. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right. Now it's time for Linz. You got 20 seconds. Okay. Can't say anything that she said. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. And name your favorite cheat meal. Macaroni and cheese. Uh, things you would eat if stuck on an island. Coconuts. Name a famous character that uses a sword. Jack Sparrow. 
A place to use a quiet voice. Library. A character from Harry Potter. Severus Snape. Snape. All right. I will say this, though. Coconuts? Is a coconut a fruit? Yep. And if so, yes. we we must dock points. We must oh, take coconut yeah, away from you. Oh, yeah, because you said fruits. Because <laughs> Maddie was smart. She took every season <laughs> three <laughs> category. I can't say any <laughs> All right. Including those blue raspberries. <laughs> Including the blue raspberries. That, that's all I Damn eat it. exclusively the raspberries. on the island. Wow. Just took all three. Island even of blue raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Chris, are you ready to time yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to start it. All right. Third question. No, don't do that. <laughs> all, right. all right. Name your favorite cheat meal. Fried chicken. Something you'd eat if stuck on an island. Uh, fish. Uh, name a famous character that uses a sword. Guts. From Berserk. Uh, a, a place to use a quiet voice. Uh, fucking uh, <laughs> school. A uh, character from Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, is Harry Potter going to slide all the way to me? That'd be fantastic. Okay. All right. Are you just going to read yourself the questions? Uh, Yes. I'll give you 12 seconds. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Lightning round. Why do that? Okay. Uh, name your favorite cheat meal. Tacos. Name something you'd eat on the island. Uh, fucking leaves. Uh, <laughs> name a famous character that uses a sword. Uh, cloud. Oh, uh, nice. A place to use a quiet voice. Funeral. Uh, oh, that's a character good one. from Harry Potter. Uh, Ron. Ah, there you go. I was nice. thinking yeah, of Emma go. Watson, and I was like, "That's her actor name." So I can't. <laughs> Hermione. Fun fact: I have only seen the first three of those. I need to watch and or read one was all the best. of them. Oh, I agree. That was my favorite one, too. Yeah. The third book was always my favorite, and I've always liked the third movie. Respect. Well, I, I've, I've, I've watched the peak, so, I mean, yeah. I even need to go back. You don't need to go back. Just go back. <laughs> Just say All no. Right, so, running through these. So, Maddie, you had sandwiches uh, for your favorite cheat meal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you would eat if stuck on an island. Fruit. Famous character that uses a sword, He-Man. A place to use a quiet voice, Church. And then a character from Harry Potter, Fred. <laughs> that is a real <laughs> my favorite Fred. character. I was so lucky that that's... <laughs> is that Weasley? Is he a real... Yeah, Fred, Fred Weasley, Weasley, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He's one of the twins. Oh, okay. Oh. Who's the other one? George. George. Wow. Man, good shit. Wow. I <laughs> low-key thought you were trolling. How did I know that? <laughs> how, honestly, how did I know that? Yeah. All right, Linz, for her answers, she had uh, mac and cheese as her favorite cheat meal. Uh, she said coconut, but then we said that doesn't count because it's a fruit. Is it? Is it a fruit? I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Maddie and Lynn say it's a fruit, uh, but I we will be wrong. We will use Google. I am we drinking. We could be wrong. Uh, Google's crazy. gonna think I'm an idiot because I'm gonna be like, "What is a coconut? <laughs> what is coconut? <laughs> it that is a like fruit. fibrous, one-seeded droop. Uh, yeah. a droop. Edible, edible fruit. Oh, it's good. All right. So, name a famous character that uses a sword. Lynn said Jack Sparrow. Place to use a quiet voice. She said library. And a character from Harry Potter. She had Servius Snape. All right. Chris had a couple of my answers. Favorite cheat meal: fried chicken. <laughs> I was definitely going for fried that chicken. That was a good uh, one. That was a good one. Uh, things you would eat on an island. Fish. Also probably what I would have said. That's why I said, I don't know, fucking leaves. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, fucking sand. I don't know, fuck me. Uh, famous character that uses a sword. Guts. He's from Chris's limited edition tea right now from Berserk. That's nice. what it's called, Berserk? Yeah. Um. A place to use a quiet voice. Chris said school, and then a Harry Potter character. He said Harry Potter. Nice. Solid. <laughs> it's good. It's a good, good, uh, good team. Uh, for me, I said tacos as my cheat meal. Uh, I got stuck with leaves as what I would eat on an <laughs> island. Uh, 
a famous character that uses a sword, Cloud. Mm-hmm. He plays to use a quiet voice, a funeral. And then a character from Harry Potter, I had Ron Weasley. Okay, so the way this works, Shadis, is Chris will make a graphic, and I will remember to post it this time. Uh, and then you guys can vote on who you think put together the best team. And uh, the loser, or the person with the least amount of votes, will take a shot. Uh, and if it's Maddie or Linz, which I doubt, uh, <laughs> Ryan. We'll just make Ryan take the shot for y'all. There, there you go. go. All, right. All right. So, that being done, Linz, are you ready for the next roll of the night? Yes. Let me pull up my dice. Maybe. If you get a 22, that would be some, <laughs> some mad awesome. back to back 20s. All right. Never had a roll. Let's go. I actually did get a 20. Stop. No, you're fucking, fucking lying. No way. way. Yes. <laughs> what? That's, this is history. Yeah. This is literally history right now. That's I fucking Maddie. crazy. Holy moly. God, That's amazing. We got whomped on our own show. Oh, <laughs> Maddie, cheers, y'all. Hell yeah. I will gladly Maddie, drink Chris, to this. Cheers. I will gladly drink to this. What's the shot count? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? That's awesome. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> oh my god! All right, and so I think, I think the shot count. Me and Linz are, me, and Linz, and Maddie should all be tied now. Mm-hmm. No, I'm above them now because I took a shot for both, and you guys to take one off. So I think you guys are at four. I'm okay. at five. You're at six. Yeah. All right. What game do you want to play, Lince? Yeah. I want to do the rap one. Ooh. No, come on. Yeah. How Give me your fun. Ah, uh, see it. Freestyle. <laughs> All right. So, uh, shoddies, the way this game works is freestyle. We're each going to go in a circle, and we use the it's like the blank without the blank format. So, an example would be like it's like the cow without the spot. It's like the polka without the dot. Wow. And then Maddie would have to start with dot. She would say, it's like the dot without the something. It's like the something without the something. Yeah. So you're two and four out of your blanks. You know, if you're to number the blanks, you're two and four have to rhyme. Okay. And your one has to be the last person's four. Okay. Yeah, so we could do a trial run if you guys want, just to kind of get our feet wet. And then we'll do two out of three, loser takes a shot. Okay. Just already prepping my cup. (laughs) (laughs) Get that slushy ready. All right, so Linz will start us off since she rolled for freestyle. Is it a trial run? or This is a trial run. Okay. Okay, I got one. It's like the... Pirate without the rum, it's like Ooh. the forty-one without the sum. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Some love it. One. Love that. Reference. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> All right. So you got some. Ah. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. It's like the sum without the band. It's like the fucking <laughs> Joe Star without the stand. That's without a the stand? That's a jo- fucking JoJo's reference. I'm sorry. Oh, I that's actually an anime caught thing? that reference. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> Someone understands you, Chris. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> so you said stand? Yeah, stand. It's like the stand without the legs. It's like the pirate without the pegs. Ah. Oh. Oh no! You got this. I believe in so. You. It's like the pegs is how you start. It's like the pegs without a hole. Yeah. Like cereal without a bowl. Yo, hey, we got it. We are in there. We're in there. We're in there. <laughs> All right. Now, now, so now it starts okay. to the bowl. Thunderdome. Let's go. It's like a bowl without the milk. Ooh. It's like 
the shirt without the silk. Ooh. Uh, it's like the silk without the soy. Mm. It's like the girl without the boy. It's like the boy without the... I was about to say urinal. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh my god, I almost destroyed myself. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I caught myself the exact moment. <laughs> Holy, Holy fucking moly. Oh my god, that would have been bad. It's like the boy without the hat. It's like the dog without the cat. Urinal, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm like looking up what what rhymes said. with urinal. What I could possibly have said? Oh, journal. I'm a, I probably maybe would have gave you journal. You start with at, a journal with, with rat, right? Cat. Oh, cat. Uh, cat. Okay. It's like the cat without a mouse. Yeah. Okay. And a house without. A grouse? <laughs> what? No, I don't know. I'm not. I, this is Can't where I, I know fail. What a grouse is. This is where. I'm <laughs> so you don't you have know, to a grouse rhyme. like a bird. <laughs> oh, I thought you just made some shit up. No, it's like, a, is a it's, bird. it's like a type of hen, a wild. I'm hen. an idiot. Wow, yeah. we are, we are gonna have a grouse in the house roasting you for no reason. This I is mean, straight up I mean, a bird. Yeah. yeah, it's a bird. Yeah. Okay. Maddie's Maddie's got bars. Weird food. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <what the> <laughs> Just rapping about grouses, it's fine. Wow. <laughs> it's like house without a house without a grouse. <laughs> Damn, son. It's like the grouse without the hen. It's like a pig Ooh, without okay. the pen. Ooh. There you go. Damn. <laughs> it's, uh it's like uh the pen without the ball. It's like the pass without a hall. Mm. It's like the hall without the monitor. Okay. <laughs> Bonitor, Conitor, Tonitor, <laughs> Yonitor. <laughs> oh, that'll be well. Was that still the trial? Was round? That still the, I was literally, if I had gotten that right, I would have been like, "We've passed the trial." <laughs> That's just ghost. I'll take a strike. I'll take a strike okay. on that one. All right, I'll take a strike. All right, so Maddie, you can start anew. I have one strike. Okay. Monitor. Jesus fucking. I did urinal like, and monitor back to back. I was like, <laughs> you caught yourself the first time. What happens when Ryan's not here? I fucking. <laughs> oh, no. It's like the ice without the cold and a hand you c without the hold. Ooh. You got a lens. It's like the hold without the pass. Okay. It's like the teen without the sass. Oh, All right. Sass. <laughs> Accurate. Sass. Uh, it's, right. like, it's like the sass without the mouth. It's like the north without the south. Mm. Nice. It's like the south. Again, I was about to say hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What am I on tonight? It's truly just hit different, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my fucking so god! So what? Put LSD in your truly? What's yeah. going on? Urinal monitor. Hospitality. Hospitality. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like the South without the cooking. Uh it's like the wrestling without the booking. There we go. There you go. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Hospitality. Can you believe? Oh, man. Oh, I'm crying. Um, <laughs> it's like the booking without a venue. Ooh. Like a... Subscription oh, without the renew. Without the oh, renew? Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. I believe. It's like the renew without a card. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It's like a song without the bard. I knew oh, you were going to do bard. D&D, nice. baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, the bard. Freaking just watched a... Okay. It's like the bard without the smog because in Hobbit... Bard fought smog. <laughs> you know, you know it's good when you gotta explain it. <laughs> you know it's a good one when you gotta give a reason for saying it. It's like it's not the gold. It's like the early morning without the fog. Mm. It's like the fog without the dew. <laughs> it's like the toilet without the poo. We got to get there. We had to get there somehow. We got. Yeah. <laughs> we had to get there. It's like the poo without the loo. Ooh. And the ball without a cue. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Nice. Y'all, y'all were real worried about <laughs> entering this game, and then y'all are You're fucking doing just fine slamming me. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the queue without the trek, like Star Trek. Mm. It's like the Ralph without the wreck. Oh, nice. I need to watch the second. I I haven't seen the second one either. I haven't seen the second one. It's good. It's not as good as the original, but it's good. Okay. It's like the wreck without the game. Mm. It's like the... Gosh, that song without the fame. I forgot who made that song. What song? Fame. <laughs> David Bowie. I, I, I didn't want to be wrong. I thought it was Bowie. but yep. Okay, yeah. There you go. So, so fame. fame. Yeah. It's like the fame without... Uh... Escalator. Just kidding. <laughs> it's... I literally almost said paparazzi. I... <laughs> Cannot be stopped tonight. Holy, holy. It's like the fame ah. without the fortune. Ah, okay. Also. <laughs> oh. <it's> really <laughs> um. It's like the ball it's without like... the torsion. <laughs> I can't steal yours now. <laughs> it's like. Shot number yeah. five. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Shot number six. Oh, no, Got cheers. destroyed on freestyle. <laughs> Damn, yeah. She really helped you out with torsion. Dude, how was I? <laughs> Where are you? Usually I'm pretty decent at this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty good. I don't. Oh, my God. Paparazzi. Monitor. What the, what the urinal hosp- and hospitality hospitality good god <laughs> who are you right i think now? i got too confident in my skills oh. <laughs> i can say Ryan's whatever the not fuck. here I'm not yeah, who, I, who got cares? <laughs> I got this easy peasy all right last game of the night my roll here we go all right all right you have to get a what if you get a 20 <laughs> wow that's a, <laughs> a one what did we just become best friends yep Oh, That's okay. uh, mates plus everyone drinks. So all of us. All right. Had a shot to the tally. Cheers. Cheers. I think that's seven for me. Eight. Eight for you. Oh no, seven. Seven. Yeah. Oh, because I Cause lost. You just, you just got up there. Oh, okay. And I think you guys are at five. I think that we're at right. five. Yeah. Yeah, five. All right. So uh, I apologize, but you're about to hear. Chris and I both at simultaneously give an explanation on the age, the golden age of piracy. I'm so glad. Uh, I was so worried. Right. I had to read it back. I was because when you were reading it, I was like, "Oh no, I gotta memorize I this." this. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna remember any of this. I was like, "All I know is Tortuga." I don't understand. <laughs> I just, I, I immediately that's, went I'm to probably turtles. Probably just gonna say it. the word Tortuga. It was yeah, just I think turtles. Chris is just gonna repeat. Tortoise and Tortuga for the next <laughs> minute. Yep. As you should. As you should. As you should. All right. So that's the last game of the night. That was the shot tally as well. So Chris and I 
Uh, Linz and Maddie, you could say when we've sufficiently told the shoddies about the golden age of piracy. And we'll stop whenever you uh, tell us to stop or... And hopefully that's not too long because I don't know how much <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much we've retained. Shotties, if you want a real explanation, of course you can rewind to the first half and uh, pay better attention than our drunk selves currently. All right, the golden right. age of piracy. Yep. Three, two, two one. one. So, so the golden age London, of piracy. Right. So well, they, where did you? The, <laughs> the, the class disparity anyway, it's was all over the place. Between the 16th the place, and 17th right? century, around and yeah, I what definitely Chris said, yeah. there was, and then there uh, were a bunch of poor Tortuga, people, and they were like, "I don't want to work Tortuga. for seven years without Tortuga. getting paid." Tortuga. And then they were like, "We can go Tortuga. to Tortuga. Tortuga, and then you know, kind of live a Sparrow beach life." Was actually not and a real pirate. Pirates. There's Blackbeard, Jolly Roger. Um, yeah, they uh, were hired Luffy, by the government, uh, I think. Zoro. Uh, but sometimes they were like, Nami. the government was like, uh oh, uh, the pirates are out of control. Yep, now. yep. I remember that part. And then, uh, and then they were just like, but then they were like, we got privateers, which are oh like, yeah, the privately uh, owned our second edition crazy. Of, Paying for pirates. Yep. And then um, they pirated. And Tortuga. I like it. And they stole a bunch of shit from Christopher Columbus. Oh, yeah. 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 Christopher Columbus. Yeah. 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 Actually, pirates are cool. We're good with pirates. Yeah. Yeah, we're cool. Are you thinking about becoming some? uh, Johnny Depp. Actually, I haven't paid close enough to the case. I don't know if that's problematic. No, it's not he, problematic. I, no, it's not. Oh, I, oh, it's I think, not. think the it's hashtag's not. free Johnny Depp right now. Oh, it's yeah. free Johnny Depp Turns right out now. he's yeah. not. He's <laughs> People are trying to be like, he's still a piece of shit because he does drugs. It's like, that doesn't mean he gets okay, to well, that's, be oh, like yeah, hit. That's, yeah. That's a lot no. of people. Sorry. She that shit the bed. So I He mean, shit the bed. And then went exactly. to Coachella. Wait, literally? <laughs> like, that is yeah, literally yeah, she the literally, She literally shit on his side of the bed and tried to blame yep. it on their teacup Yorkie. The shit yep. was as big as the dog. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Much. Yeah. she blamed it on their little <laughs> dog. Yeah. yeah, she she blamed it on the teacup Yorkie, yeah, and then she just went she wild. went to Coachella for three days with her friends. Yep. Does she oh. think she shit so small? That's crazy that she thought she could blame the dog. <laughs> it's okay. Just... I can play it off. I have cute shits. <laughs> <laughs> They're like rabbit shits. <laughs> That's it's like you insane. need to see a doctor if that's if yeah. your shits are comparable to a teacup Yorkies. So has Absolutely. she been fired for anything yet? No, uh, they're trying she... to get her like completely written out of Aquaman too. Yeah, like... No, they're trying to replace Wait, her. They... They're trying to replace yeah. her with Amelia Clark. Mm-hmm. Oh, didn't they finish filming I feel like and they did, yeah. editing that whole movie? I feel like that's mm-hmm. coming out this year, right? Well, you yeah. just need to put Amelia Clark's face on her body. Truly, yeah, you could do that. Technology is wild. The like DC that. universe is like meh enough that you could definitely just do that. And people would be like, that checks out. That's great. That I, out. Still, Good job. <laughs> I still remember the moment I watched Justice League. The opening scene was Henry Cavill's edited out mustache. Yes. I was like, you're going to you're opening with this. Yeah. This is the story. Like, really? What's so I'm... sad is like how many people did that take? And to it's like, still, to like, like put that. expensive fake as fuck. lips on him, and it yeah. still looks. Like yeah, it. it's so bad. I was, I, was, I sat there and I was like, "No way, Damn. no <laughs> way." We're starting. This is supposed to be the answer to everything. We're starting with this. Henry Cavill's fucked up lips. <laughs> yeah. Awful. No yep. way, buddy. <laughs> Doom from the start. St- we had to stop it, and I was like, Thomas. What is up with his face? What yep. is going on? Because I didn't know. Yep. And he was like, oh, because he was in whatever the one Mission Impossible movie is, and he couldn't shave mm-hmm. his mustache. And I was like, yeah. that's okay. All right. Yeah. I feel bad wild. for whoever had to take care of that in post. It that's... Took, I heard it took forever. Did I think you, I fell asleep in the theaters. Did you hear about like the shawarma scene in the Marvel movie? Uh-uh. Um, Chris Evans was doing a movie where he had to have like this crazy beard and the prosthesis was like horrible (laughs) trying to put it like over his face so that's why Captain America (laughs) isn't eating the shawarma at the end of that movie because he's he's quite literally like holding the prosthesis in place (laughs) 
Oh. And at first I was like, God, Captain America's racist as fuck. He's not eating shawarma? Like, damn. <laughs> Shwarma's I love delicious. He's like, that's <laughs> that's not American okay, that food. So but good. no, it was just because he was he this had a beard. This is too exotic. <laughs> it's too spicy. <laughs> this isn't whole milk. All right. <laughs> Don't talk about my co-host on Reddit on Wiki Josh like that, guys. You gotta relax. <laughs> Too spicy. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we've done it. Uh, yeah. Guys, do you guys want to give the shotties y'all socials uh, for sure. the for the podcast and how they can, you know, find you? I don't know if we got into that. We talked about what the show is, mm-hmm. but I don't know if we went into the the ats and the handles sure. and all of that. Yeah. Um, so you can find us online at yieldcrimepodcast.com. We're on Instagram at yieldcrimepodcast, Facebook at yieldcrimepodcast, and on Twitter at yieldcrimepod. Awesome. Nice. And uh, just a quick, um, we don't have a lot of shout outs. You know, shoddies, mm-hmm. uh, if you're listening to the show, you probably know where to find us. But if you're new, uh, at SNTPOD on all social media. And then if you want to support us financially, we have a buymeacoffee.com slash SNTPOD and also a Patreon, which I haven't updated, but I need to. Uh, that's <laughs> patreon.com slash SNTPOD1. And uh, Chris, is. Uh, do you want to give uh, all of our Buy Me A Coffees until the second week of July are going to be going towards Chris's clothing brand day off. And, uh, they're gonna, they're doing a little fundraising and we thought, you know, the best way that we could help is to give all of our buy me a coffee and Patreon dues to Chris for the moment. Thank you all so much. So Chris, do you want to give a little spiel to the shoddies if they don't know already? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so this year we are, uh, so far invited to, uh, be vendors at Anime Expo as Day Off is a brand very much inspired by anime otaku culture. Um, so I think this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like I feel yeah. like almost like a Met Gal. Like, oh, we invited you. If you don't get, if you don't accept the invitation right now, you're not getting invited again. Yeah, Chris is telling <laughs> me like they have to go this time or they get put on like a wait list. Yeah, oh, and then geez. the wait list is like forever because. You get put to the bottom of the wait list. And since oh, it's yeah. the biggest anime convention in yeah. North America, the wait list is huge. Yeah. So I can't I can't confirm that that's exactly how they do it, but I know that like there is like, a wait list and it's very hard to get in. Yeah. That's awesome. Would, yeah. Well, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh so yeah, we're trying to make it out there. Uh everything from like all of the uh shirts and sales going on right now um, are gonna go towards our, you know, booth lodging ticket to get over there. Um, and we are doing like, I don't know what, when is that, when is the episode coming out? This comes out, uh, next Monday actually. Oh, cool. So the uh, ninth. Nice. So yeah. Um, I don't know if, I think the fundraiser t-shirt will be, will have ended by now, but so I'll just go ahead and say thank you to everyone who ordered, helped or donated to the cause. Awesome. Um, and, uh, let's see, I think May 22nd. Uh, the brand will be at the Have a Nice Day event, which uh, help, which is an event that celebrates uh, AAPI creatives. Nice. Uh, awesome. It'll be at Post HTX, which is a huge deal. Ooh, at the Post. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be. It should. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a great time. So if you can stop by there and uh, help out uh, there as well. Great. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, that's it for our show this week. Thank you guys so much for listening. And thank and, you all uh, for being here. Thank you guys for being here. We, I yeah, hope you guys fun. had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was it was really fun. fun. We're yeah. the only ones that did two day 20s. Yeah. We're the, yeah. D, we're the D20 that's, twins. <laughs> calling yes. out all the other guests. You're <laughs> wow, inferior. Talk to them. And you have to, you have to match us. Keep yeah. Up. yeah. Bow down. That is very Keep hard. Up. Bow down to yield crime. <laughs> All right, that's it. See you guys next week. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.